Jackie, put your laptop away. Come on, at least focus for the beginning. I am focused. You know, She's like, on I Facebook. If, I just yeah. need if you get bored for... All right, let me just start, and then we can okay. deal with that. I put it away. Live from a pool of blood and butthole skin chunks, it's the Grandma's Virginity Podcast, episode 31. On this week's episode, popular misconceptions about the character Thor are cleared up. Does Thor drive an Acura? I mean, it's it's one thing if you're going to fucking... Wait, 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 wait. I want to ask about Thor. Is Thor, like, dressed in a leather jacket with, like, cool no, hair? No, no. Jackie defends her cool new habit. All the good people smoke. And yeah. not like our president. That's not true. Is a smoker, and that's why I voted for okay, him. Because smokers are honest people. As Jackie's woes worsen, Ryan proposes that he and she run away together. We'll liquidate our bank accounts. Get fucking cash, money, money, money in a backpack. That'll to get us to Bakersfield. And the $15 question is finally asked. Have we asked this yet who Jackie thinks would be better in bed? Justin or I? Get ready and plug in your flap nuggets because here we go. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Grandma's Virginity Podcast episode number 31. The same age as me right now. I'm 31 years old. <laughs> That's true. Uh, with me is Ryan Ridley. Feeling sad. And Jackie Buscarino. <laughs> feeling more sad than Ryan. Oh, really? It's a competition? Yeah. And I'm feeling good old happy. It's, it's, a, it's, downer, it's a downer episode. I can tell already. Yeah, it's me a too. sad one. Yeah. And I'm doing everything I can to not I don't start know. crying. Well, I don't even know why I should bother to <laughs> pretend. <laughs> like, what's the point? Yeah, well, just be real. Can I just go with it? Yeah. You mean cry? No. <laughs> Man. <laughs> God, Jackie, yes, yes, cry. No, just go with it. Be real. Um, you got to be real. I was crying yeah. last night. I don't, I don't. I think it's okay to admit that, right? To talk about crying? openly and honestly. I yeah, I guess crying. if you're yeah, just a, a big old gay person, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to let the world know how gay well, you I are. Well, I found out. I, I got a. I got a. Um, a stain on my Mark Jacobs cardigan. I don't know. Oh, is that a stain? Not stain? That <laughs> is worthy of crying over. I was trying to. I was trying to concoct something that a stereotypical gay man would cry over <laughs> for you know to exaggerate Justin's point um anyway J- Jackie you said when you walked in when I told you my sadness that you said that we have like like we're on like yeah, sadness the same cycles. cycle yeah like when something really wretched happens to you then it usually happens to me the, the same cycle day. of but sadness <laughs> you're, yeah you're always feeling wretched so well yeah I mean there's just there's highs and lows of the sadness and the despair but like, there's some days that are just like, wow, p- please, w- please, what else can happen to me? <laughs> please, that's one thing I was just having a conversation about uh, uh-huh. with my friend is like this horribleness. <laughs> I, I, every day I say, stop yawning, Justin. <laughs> I'm not I doing want it. more. I want more. That's that's my. You advice. want more I, horribleness? Just like yeah, Ryan, embrace it. Just be like yeah. What else can you oh, give I, me? Can I also can I talk the about my teeth? The comfort in being sad. Can I Your talk teeth? about my teeth? Yeah. Are they? You have cavities. So I become responsible. I've gotten all my shit together. I owe taxes for three years that I didn't pay. So, but it's all settled now, IRS. So if you listen to this shit, you can't do nothing about it. Yep. And I like paid off hundreds of dollars in parking tickets. Like basically, I realized after talking to our friend Abed, I was like, yeah, I it's don't. Time. I'm I'm no different than Abed. Like mm-hmm. I need to pull it together. A little bit different, but so, <laughs> but but close. We're not so different, you and I. Abed. Woven from the same cl- yeah. cloth. Yeah, kissing cousins. Yeah. Um. So um. I'm like, okay, I got to take care of all this bullshit. So one of the things was I need to take care of my teeth because I haven't been to the dentist in a while. Yeah. And I had like a hole in a tooth on my right side and then I like I felt it with my tongue and then I had a sore tooth on my left a side. hole in your tooth? Like a little like chip or something. I didn't Ugh. know what it was. So I went to the dentist in December and he's like, oh, it's, it's – and Justin, don't say anything. Well, I'm not going to say who they are, but okay. can I at least say like – You went to the same dentist? Yeah. And, and I told horrible? Ryan – Well, no. I mean, listen. It's not they, – they're not horrible. They're not incompetent. I just got the sense that they weren't doing all the things they needed to do as dentists to make sure my teeth were healthy. <laughs> well, they, they told me. Cutting corners? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and maybe also not really knowing all the dental tricks that might need yeah. to be employed in order to accurately detect you know, issues with teeth. Because uh-huh. um, every time I would go there, they would give me an x-ray every single oh, time. Oh, well, that's because they can charge your insurance for it. There's that, but also you're not supposed to get x-rays every six months. No. And I was like. It mutates your it's just, Yeah, and it's but like. why would Ryan go to this dentist okay, well, after anyways, you said it was a bad? 
not because everybody no, no, no. else says he's good. Oh, they're, they're great. They're good. This Justin is new. Would hate every doctor, this I'm is sure. New. No, so no, no. What happened? I have a good one at home oh, uh, oh, that I'm comparatively. Oh. I'm going. Oh, Wait, my oh, old oh. one at home would do this, this, and this. These okay. guys just give me an X-ray. They look at the X-ray and say, "Looks like you got a cavity from the X-ray." I'm like, why don't you fucking check my teeth with your little <laughs> teeth tools and tell me I, I have a fucking cavity? I love how you want them to be more archaic. I pen. want them to yeah, be. Yeah, well, they need to be in there and look yeah. at the tooth. It's that's not archaic. Re- it's a fucking that's, skill. Yeah, it's that's a, it's ooh, a trade. You have a cavity. Let's get the x ray to make sure it's there. Like, let's see how deep the damage but is. Even my old dentist, I would get an x ray either once a year yeah, or one, so once a year. Okay, but I would go and when I had like a checkup, he would use his little to- his little mm, little boy, needle Justin, thingy. You've really stolen my thunder. The pick, well, no, no, the pick. The pick. And he would poke and yeah. he'd, he'd find soft spots. And a soft and spot like, means you have a fucking cavity. Yeah, he yeah, wouldn't yeah, look yeah. at a goddamn x-ray. Anyways, continue. So, so my, my thing with him was that this place was not great. And he, now you'll hear his first-hand account of, the, <laughs> okay. of, the, of confirming it. So I go into the dentist, and I'm like, I got this crack in this tooth, and I got a pain in my left side. Both sides, like companion teeth, you know? Yeah. And he's like, oh, you just need a good cleaning. You haven't had a cleaning, and the pain will go away after the cleaning, and, and we'll, we'll keep watching the, the other stuff, you know? And I was like, okay, fine. So I plan on coming back in June. Well, all of a sudden, one night I have a nightmare, and I'm not wearing my night guard because I ground my teeth at night, and yes. so I must have really been grinding the Fuck. shit out of my teeth. So the next morning I wake up and I Do you I remember pain. what your nightmare was about? Yes, I do. What was it? Just real quick. It was about... Oh, do I really have to say it? Yeah, yeah, please. It was like about Sex. a girl I was seeing um, cheating on me or being really... Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's all. And did it really happen? No. No. Oh my god. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Continue. I, I, you anyway. ground your teeth down for <laughs> so over gr- that. So I ground my teeth out of stress and agony, and then the next morning I woke up and the tooth that was hurting back in December. This is a couple weeks ago. It was hurting again. Yeah. And then later in the afternoon, I bite into a soft piece of candy, and all of a sudden I'm like crunch, crunch. I'm like, What's weird? It's Why your is tooth. this? My teeth just broke up. The tooth yeah. out of the hole and it broke apart. So Whoa. of course I immediately go to the dentist and I'm just like, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Thought that we could kind of play it conservative on these, but obviously something went wrong on that. So he's like, yeah, yeah, you you know, you broke your tooth. You need a crown on the right side. I don't have insurance. Yeah. Okay. And then on the left side, he's like, he kind of still writes that off too. Like, oh. I, but why, I even, wouldn't, why wouldn't they want to get in there and fix it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then. they're not dentists. They probably then, don't have a license. That's the problem <laughs> I have with them is yeah, they never. It's because yeah. they probably never went so, to school. And then a week later. Yeah. So you go in for it the was crown. At a, it, was at a, it was at a house in Van Nuys. Is that weird? No, no, no. Okay. So you go in for, <laughs> you go in for the, for the so, one that's the ground down. And then they know, then you have another one yeah, on the other side. Yeah, but he kind of sort of brushes that off again. And then I'm like, okay. Like it. It shouldn't just hurt though. There's got to be something. And he's like, "Oh, the X-rays don't really show anything." So then <laughs> your fucking X-rays. Then a couple days later, I wake up and I've got like underneath my jaw all swollen and puffy and sore. And I'm like, "Oh my god, I've an infection in my yeah, mouth." Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking up online and I'm looking up like Ludwig's Ludwig's angina, like all the stuff that like you know, oh, an infection in your gums and it, it, all the symptoms are there for me, and then it'll swell up and suffocate you, and, and the infection will spread all through your body and you can die. And I'm yeah. like, uh, you know, so I'm freaking out. I'm like, why didn't they know this was happening? And I don't know. I'm not saying that I think I'm gonna die, but I mean, something clearly wrong. It's been a but week. Wait, 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 wait. Stop for a second. Okay. If you crumbled your teeth with a piece of candy and your dentist didn't fix it on the spot, wouldn't you go and find another dentist? Yep. No, no, no. Yes. This doesn't no, no. make any sense no. to yes. me, but, Ryan. No, but Time then, to find a no, new yeah, dentist. I'd be like, my Join tooth. me in the march. And, and also, how can you breathe Burn or eat dentist. or do anything with a broken tooth? It wasn't the nerve exposed? I've got a, no, no, no. I've got There's enough like tooth material over the nerve. But, I have, but, but here's the thing. So now I have to... So then he said, avoid eating anything hard on the right side. Okay. Oh, really? So then, then I'm sure. Okay, fine. Then, I, then all of a sudden, this side because of this infection, I can't even open my mouth to chew because it hurts so bad. And then in the middle of my lip, canker sore. Ooh. So eating is just painful and misery, and not 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 a pleasant enjoyable. experience at all. <laughs> yeah, every swallow is like, oh. But my jaw just, I can you know, feel it. If, and what if, is going on if up they there can, anyway? If they could make that happen for overweight people, they'd all be skinny. <laughs> they just should break their teeth. Yeah, break their teeth <laughs> and get <laughs> cancer sores. Cut their tongue. Oh. I don't understand. <laughs> Why don't you just get it fixed? And because it costs $1,100 $1, to get a crown. You need to go to my dentist. It's about 650 to $700. Without insurance? Yes. Do you have insurance? Yeah, I have insurance. How but much I... is it with insurance? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello? Hello. Uh-oh, it's Rob's doctor. No, I don't know who it is. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's me, Dr. Bar- Dr. 
Um, Water skin. Water skin. <laughs> I fix your tooth. Yeah? Yes, I fix your tooth. I give you implants. <laughs> All dental, for dental how implants. much? For how much? Fifty dollars. <laughs> I fix your tooth. What are you? What eat? about X-rays? Oh, I have to take X-ray. <laughs> oh, I have to take eight X-ray. <laughs> how much is that gonna cost? Oh, it costs uh, twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> But you bill to your insurance. <laughs> Do you he have doesn't it? have insurance. Oh, Do you all have right. a scrapey tool that you can just poke around in no, there? So no, no. <laughs> I just use x-ray. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> but I have more questions. Oh, all right, see ya. Your dentist is a quack, whoever it is. Uh-huh. It's not, you, well, I don't understand why you keep going there. You can get a crown done. It's my mom just went to my dentist. And uh-huh. She doesn't have insurance. Who's and your I dentist? believe that was 650. His name's Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim. Kim. Where is he at? Uh, in La Crescenta. I don't mean to be racist, mm. but I'm looking at dentists and their names. Yeah. Korean. Korean. Names. What Korean. is the last? There's no, there's no, there's what no. What happened to the good old na- Irish <laughs> dentist? No, yeah. yeah, there's no like our town dentist anymore. Oh, yeah. Robert Fitzpatrick, DDS. Like no. it's all like gloopy flan. Fl- it's all characters that you come up with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Kim Flibbity is flan, not a crazy name. No, and but I think Koreans the other ones are, are excellent uh, yeah. doctors and dentists. Yeah, and yeah. they're very uh, disciplined. And they, they know are. how to use a pointy tool. He went to USC, <laughs> and he doesn't do x-rays every time I visit. Uh-huh. And yeah. it's in where? No, he, La Crescenta. He looks Where's at her that? files. Uh, Just, you know, uh, uh, we're in Montrose, uh, La Cañada, Flint Ridge, off the... Yeah, uh, it's, 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 it's close. It's, it's very far, uh, is what no, she's not. saying. It's it's a, it's quite a trek. Then go to your shit-faced dentist and never get your, tooth, your teeth fixed. All right, well, there the, you go. <laughs> have a broken tooth. We'll find tooth. a new dentist. And, you, and have Thank infection, you. and then you're going to have halitosis so bad. Oh. God. And you're going to try to date girls and breathe them oh, in their mouth and they're going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been around people who have te- tooth decay? It's a very distinct. I hang smell. around myself all the time. <laughs> it's a very, I imagine. It's much different than stomach halitosis. I actually started to imagine that this infection, I fantasize like Let this, me smell your breath. That, uh, no. It's going <laughs> to smell like pizza. That this infection was going to like close off my windpipe and I have to go to the emergency room and then they have to give me an emergency tracheotomy and then the infection Jesus. would continue to like mess with my face and then I would turn out that it was cancer and they had to carve my face off and then I'd be like, <laughs> just like, like no face there and a, a tracheotomy. There's a woman, I, wow. I know that happened to, she had a rotten tooth and mm-hmm. it's because she was using, she was a drug addict tweaker and she lost most of her teeth and she made a fake tooth out of her front tooth out of cotton. Oh, that's doc- what Doctor Wadowskian uses. Yeah, she yeah, would cotton. wrap that's she great. would wrap cotton around her other tooth, so this other tooth well, that looked smarty. like it was cotton. It got totally infected. For like, she went on this way for like three months, and then she was like, "I can't see very. Well. My eye is like flickering, and it's like very sensitive. And it's because the infection from her front tooth went all the way up to her eye, and she lost like twenty five percent of her vision yeah. because oh she's trash. God. Yeah, you don't want to get infections in your head. Oh, my anywhere God. in your head. Oh, but it aren't you on antibiotics? Aren't you yes, on? I'm on antibiotics. Are they working? I, it's not any what worse, kind? but it's not any better. What kind? Amoxicillin. Oh. Do you know that kind? Yeah, I love that type Can of thing. Can I just recommend that you go to a fucking real dentist and just have them look at it? A real one? One that's like actually recommended? In, by who? By, by, by people me! who know yeah. what a fucking dentist is supposed to do? And La Crescenta? Yes! Okay, well, look. Ryan, I, I'm being serious. He's so okay, good. Okay, enough about this. Well, the, it's it's ridiculous. We'll deal with can, it after the show. He keeps talking about it. I want to. I want to share something. I'm just trying to make a point that I am trying to be have my get my shit together and, and just you keep getting knocked yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So One step forward, I, two steps back yeah, for Ryan Reynolds. Like yeah, I said yeah. that you know it's like no matter how much you get your shit together and you know, how much you do the right thing, there's always going to be bullshit. And coming. God I'm just keeps to the knocking you down. Here. You're just preaching to the choir. Thank That's you. why I say rotten tooth, broken tooth. Charge me five grand. I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna pay it because I want to suffer. Yeah, I, I enjoy suffer my sins. I enjoy Bring the it. pain and sorrow. I want it. Really? I want it. I yeah. want oh, you're it. like I a martyr. It. Oh yeah. Well, the thing is, oh, the thing now. is, there's is something great. nice about it because you know, it just you just fucking like lay down and just bring let it, it out. Take world. your licks. Let take it. Your licks. Can you do? Yeah. Let it consume you. Yeah. Let it. Let it just. Yeah. Let the sorrowness just 
envelop then, your body. And then people have to feel sorry for you. That's yeah, the best part it's about great. it. It's the but best. the truth is nobody feels sorry for you either. And you don't get any support. Like when you're wallowing in it, like really, no one cares. That's the truth. I was thinking about that. I'm like, I really do realize I'm like, oh, we're all just alone in the world. Yes. And we all, and like you always think like there's this fantasy you have like that, that somebody's going to take care of it. But this dentist no. couldn't take care. Like I could have, I could have freaking some horrible stuff going on. And this dentist is like, oh, I got to get home and go, to, you know, hang out with my wife and kids. It's like, no, and, it's, and because of that, he doesn't diagnose my infection properly. Yeah, but properly. you just need a fucking good dentist, period. All right. All right. 1 800 dentist. I've heard that. That's a, no, don't fuck that. There, I'll, I'll, we'll find you a good dentist because I got to find one too. Oh, so God, I want to share something with you guys. Uh, you're probably not going to give a shit, but I've got this little thing I'd like to share. It's very short and quick, but I was watching television two days ago. And this commercial came on. Oh, this is great. This is what, what we did a couple times back in the old days. Yeah, so this is a commercial. Justin has a... Like the Jello one. Yeah, yeah, but this one isn't quite as... I mean, this one's just sort of... I'm watching this commercial sort of peripherally. I was on, on the internet or doing something, and the TV's on in the background, and I just hear all of a sudden the the end of the commercial, and I'm like, what? Who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to hear this. To see if Will's think the same yeah. thing. Just cabin with tailored styling. It's an available ELS surround premium audio system and voice activated navigation with up to the minute traffic and weather. It's the newly refined Acura TL. And it's the official vehicle of the movie Thor. <laughs> what? Did like, you add that in? I swear to God, I didn't. I'm like, I'm like, I, and, I, and Thor I, I, is a modern movie? Yeah, it's a <laughs> fucking dumb comic book. It's like the dumbest you know, comic Thor, book. Thor, the Marvel comic book from character. the Adventures in Babysitting. It's like this fucking yeah. must. Yeah, exactly. It's but, like this but muscular, I he was like old, like, like Viking old, not current. He's a Marvel comic book. Marvel character comic book based character based on the Norse god of thunder. Thor. Yeah. Yes, it's Thor. So I'm like watching. I'm online and the commercial comes on and I'm like, what? <laughs> Who? Why? What? What the? What the fuck? And I, I'm watching the commercial a couple of times. Why the fucking? Why? Oh, oh. It's the official car of the movie Thor? Oh, well, gee, fucking, you had me at the fucking luxury seats. But it's now the, I'm fucking rushing. It's the car that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. drive around in the background of, yeah. of the third act. I mean, who gives Thor. a shit? Well, I mean, what does that mean it's the official car I don't know. Is well, it now in we a scene? have to scene? see the movie. Does Thor drive an Acura? <laughs> I mean, it's it's one thing if you're gonna wait, fucking wait, wait, wait. I want to ask about Thor. Is Thor like dressed in a leather jacket with like cool no, hair? No, no. He he's a shirtless, he's a muscular, muscle. blonde-haired like that's fucking. What, that's what I'm saying. But no, in the movie, helmet. did they try to modernize him? No, no. So then why why would he have an Acura? Here's the thing. It's product placement, but it's not bad enough that they have to sneak product placement into movies in such obvious staged ways that it's gonna like pierce our subconscious and make us yeah. like want something but then they th then they totally pull the curtain back and just do a commercial like this where it's like you know get ready you know are you gonna play it again yeah I, I might as well play it again what is the imagery happening is it all of a sudden it's, like bad because no, it, it's like machine gun fire at the it's, end of it it's, or something. It's, it's, it's traditional like like, like a, a, what kind of car is it it's, it's like close up sh beauty shots but of what like is the it? interior like, like a, just like a sedan or something that's like a, it's like a, a coupe Acura, like a like, like a, a nice fast like a sporty cars. car yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, like like yeah, yeah. yeah Acura is like a like the luxury Honda right you it's got like it. so so yeah it's like this kind of like luxury car play it again and um and you know the the commercial starts with with like these interiors uh -huh. it, like these beautiful like panning interior shots of the car uh -huh. and then and then it goes to um uh hold on Four. sorry it's an available ELS surround premium audio system. Oh, okay. And voice yeah. activated navigation. This music makes me sad. It sounds like I'm interested it's in this automobile. Refined, uh, but I'm not quite sure. I maybe we're gonna look at some other vehicles and, uh, and decide then and the uh, check out gas mileage and uh Thor? Oh, oh, <laughs> what? What? Thor? <laughs> Martha! The movie I've been waiting Martha! for! Get out the checkbook! Yeah, like, 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 I've been I got my car! I mean, here's the thing that's funny about that is that, okay, you've got these, like, who who's the target audience for Thor? Like, these fucking man-children who still live with their parents and, like, they're fat and they read comics and they're all excited about Thor and they're they reading about Thor. They would buy the car. Yeah, but they don't have any fucking money to buy the car. Yeah. Like, this is a luxury car. Yeah. Like, any if they lu live at home, they do. Like, who the fuck is this ad for? It, I could see if it was like, <laughs> and it's the official car of... Like something more like, yeah, like, like, like general and like, like 
of the Sopranos. Even that would be like still dumb, but like a, I could get a little more because then you get these rich guys who want to be like yeah. gangsters. Well, like, no, yeah. the Acura would be like too fast and uh, fast and furious, a like official as, as featured in Fast and Furious because it's like a racing car, yeah, it's like a yeah. street car. So like, because but if you say as like, featured, that's or, different than the official no, car of no, the movie Thor. It's the know. car that Natalie Portman's sister's character drives to. In get the groceries <laughs> in that one scene. Yeah, and it's it's a nice car. <laughs> Do you think there's a moment in the movie where they just stop and like Thor's like, mm, this car <laughs> looks nice. Me oh. want. I hope so. Wait, Thor doesn't talk like that. He's oh. not the Hulk. Isn't he like a retard? Like, <laughs> no. me want this car. Ooh, ELS integrated stereo. Ooh, <laughs> voice command controlled <laughs> navigation. Me like. If Thor wants. And if he's a Scandinavian, <laughs> he's Scandinavian, Thor right? Thor give you, why, I don't know, why 35, 50, not sponsored. a penny more. Why yeah. Acura? I don't understand Yeah, he's this. very blonde-haired, blue-eyed, sort of Nazi-looking. I love how the, the, the guy's sort of like, you know, and, uh, you know, alloy wheels and side air, front air airbags, and, uh, hey, nothing for nothing. It's in the movie Thor. Like, yeah. It's like, no, but they saved like, that for the over last. His shoulder, I know. He's like, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, it's the official <laughs> car. Of the movie Thor. It's so fucking retarded. Anyways, uh, all right. So, um, the official coffee maker of the movie X Men First Class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck is. It's a fucking dumb, like, Thor movie. Who gives a shit? It probably won't even do well. God. Pick, like, a fucking cheap ass. Like, if you're going to do a tie into Thor for a car, pick, like, a fucking. Like sixteen thousand dollar fucking Ikea, car, Ikea. yeah, Ikea, and yeah. just like, just like just paint call it, it the Asgard, yeah, and yeah. paint a Thor car, like yeah. painted with those or those Hammers. decals, <laughs> and then you'll sell some fucking cars. But no one's buying a forty or fifty thousand. Imagine the guy who pulls up to his buddies at work the next day, like, hey, nice Acura, thanks, yeah, official yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking car of the movie Thor. <laughs> it is. Holy. Now, shit. what does that mean? I'm sorry. What does that mean exactly, Jim? Uh, well. I don't know, really. I, I, I guess I'll know once the movie comes out. I'll, I'll know. I'll have a better idea of what that exactly means. <laughs> so, but I mean, it was enough to get you to buy it before you even saw the Maybe movie. Maybe there's a scene where they're like, "Hurry, Thor! Get in the Acura! <laughs> we have to <laughs> escape!" Oh, I, I like this car. <laughs> It looks like it'll escape better than these other cars. Yeah, it's 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 lu- it's escaping in luxury, that's for sure. <laughs> that's Natalie Portman. And then they sort of like just script kind of a hybrid like kind of romantic connection also product placement for uh-huh. this car on top of it. Like what I, else would be a s- official something for Thor? Like, um, I don't know. Well, hammers. I mean, like Thor. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the official um, wheat bread of Thor. Or yeah, a wheat. Yeah. Or I was going <laughs> to... Um, the Pe- official cereal, or... uh, Chex Mix, <laughs> the official cereal of the movie Thor. Like, what is that? Like, so when I'm eating cereal, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm like Thor. Yeah. Here I'm at, like Thor. Here at Carrington Cancer Center, we treat <laughs> with the state of the <laughs> cancer center. We are also the official <laughs> cancer center of the, the movie, movie Thor. Thor. <laughs> with with state of the art technology like this MRI machine, the official MRI machine. <laughs> Top of the line doctors <laughs> who will tend to your every need. <laughs> and uh, and our attitude is cancer doesn't have you. Or you have cancer. Or whatever it is. <laughs> by the gods of Asgard, and we shall eliminate <laughs> your cancer. And also, by the way, uh, I thought we should mention this too. <laughs> We're the official cancer place of the movie Thor. Which which hits theaters near you this summer? Um, the official cancer center of Dylan Dog, that obscure indie comic movie coming out, starring <laughs> Brandon Routh. Yeah, Dylan Dog. <laughs> That's gonna be a good one. <laughs> okay, so uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon, I for the first time ever in my life went and got a fucking massage. Ooh, was it a Thai massage? Full not, release massage? No, and I'm not a massage person, so I don't know what the... I'm, the first time I've ever got one, I don't know what to expect. It was a gift. From who? Margaret. 
My girlfriend got uh-huh. it for me. Did and you feel like you had to fart when you were flipped <laughs> over and they massaged your butt? No. Is that something no. that happens? No, but there's... <laughs> it happened to throw up. Oh, really? No, I didn't I didn't have that. <laughs> Did picture. he fart? He held it. But, <laughs> like, the first thing was, like, you know, I get there, they show me around the place, and I'm like, okay. And I'm and like, okay, put on a robe. I'm like, all right. So I take well, all my clothes off. Where'd you go? Off. Burke Williams? Or... No, Vo- Voda Spa. Vo- oh, Vonus? so it was a real spa. Yeah, like a nice oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I put the ro- but I have like boxer briefs on underneath this robe, right? So I'm walk- I'm sort of just hanging out, waiting, and then all of a sudden the guy comes up. It's a guy. A guy? Yeah, a guy. Ooh. I didn't know what to expect. Guy, girl, I didn't know. You, you can request one of the well, other, right? Well, Margaret requested a guy. And oh, her- are you and- what a for you. Yeah, but I-, I don't think it has anything to do with like, I don't want yeah, a girl. Right. I think it, from what she said, a guy is going to give you a, ha- have more power. That's and, a like, lie. I mean, it, 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 it's it's probably true, but you would have gotten a boner if it was with a girl. I'm con- it happened. Here's what's interesting. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about that because it's because like I that would would I be less comfortable with a girl? I don't know. But anyways, like, because of all these concerns. Like, yeah, like I don't want to get a boner. Guy. I don't want to like I don't want to be yeah. like preoccupied with like yeah. you know my own insecurities. Is she to me. Yeah, like or anything or am I yeah. am I f- this is fucking vo- like yeah. this girl's like has to fucking touch me and like <laughs> you know like I, <laughs> the guy. So, it's like who but, cares? But with no, but still with the guy like so he walks me up to the room and it's just very odd. I'm like, what the fuck? This is so fucking weird and out of my zone of comfort. Like okay, here, uh, here go ahead, just just um. Put 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 your put everything here and then slip in between these two covers face yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. He closes. He you know goes outside, and then uh, I I'm like, I, I don't know. Do I take my fucking boxers off? Do I do I go completely naked? No, you and, can if you want. Though. Well, no, but the thing that I'm thinking is, it's like I don't I I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know what the norm is, and I'm thinking, okay, if I do and that's not the norm, that's way worse than if I don't yeah. and taking them off it's is better normal. to have him come in and go oh you could take your boxers off instead of uh, excuse me can you can, dude can you put your boxers yeah back right on? so I so I I didn't I left them on and I got under the sheets and then knock 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 oh yeah I'm I'm ready he comes in and then yeah it was just like how, I, how old was he uh young guy yeah like probably late 20s oh was he cute I don't know. Oh come on! I mean, he was an attractive guy. He was okay, muscular and go. fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh. But like, I don't. I mean, I don't know. You know, he might have been ugly in the. My face. name is Maury Berman. I'll be your masseuse today. <laughs> Hello. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It was weird the whole time. I'm kind of like just. I can't really fully relax because I'm just like, you know, I don't. I, it's the whole thing is so fucking weird. The guy. It's very like. It sen- feels like, good though. It does feel good, but it's also it's very what sensual. It's kind of sensual <laughs> yeah. and like I'm like. I, I hope this guy like I'm like I I'm I'm pretty like I'm not homophobic and I'm not like like really that way at all but but the thoughts do come into your head like what if what, what if he thinks I'm gay <laughs> like I don't want him to think I'm gay if he's not gay and then I don't want I I wonder if he's gay and if he is gay maybe I'm just not attract maybe he's not attracted to my type or maybe he is attracted to me what? I mean all these fucking Ju- all things all the things and- that Justin thinks about is the first time that when a girl has to go get a pap smear huh are you Why? serious what it's is the that same thing if you're a lesbian, it's, no, 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 not that. It's or, or if you go to a guy doctor, I oh. totally know what you're thinking of. Uh, it, it's it is it's beyond your comfort zone, and it feels like someone is looking at you naked and like aren't they? Uh, it, well, it is for a girl, but massages. It's just the equal thing. It's the way you feel about it, and you're <laughs> self conscious. Yeah, and you when, don't when know, the, and you think is the uh, what, the doctor's the pr- looking at my vagina, like my privates. <laughs> but what if he's like some pervert like, and he's like getting off Jackie, on wouldn't it? the proper parallel be going to a urologist as a man? Getting your dick and balls checked up. I mean, there's no, a, that, literally that to a me is symmetrical. a very cut and dry thing where it's not well, as personal. Pap as smears a, are more as sensual as massages. Well, pap smears aren't sensual, but sometimes like when they do have to do a breast check on you too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like I had a, a, a lady doctor Did he that, use was his a mouth lead, that was to... a lead. Well, they're supposed to. <laughs> oh. But I know what you mean. It's the same thing. But once you've got. You, they now, bite your I bet you you can go back and you won't give, give a shit. I probably won't. But it, that but but it was you weird. Broke I broke mean, the ice. He did. He did say like like. Like, he didn't know. He didn't obviously didn't notice or know that I was wearing bo- boxer briefs until like halfway through. And he's like, "Oh, uh, just so you know, whoa, buzzkill, bro. Hey, bro, man, <laughs> come on. Uh, no, but like he, he, he. The way he said it was very awkward and sort of like you know, like careful. Like, like he's like, you, you know, um, <laughs> he just slowly just so you know. Them down. No, no, he did, <laughs> he did, he cord. did like tucked them up and stuff and it was like oh my god but uh he said just so you know what he was like just so you know um you know normally 
<laughs> you know, you you can t- you, people go fully nude. Uh, you know, if but but only if you're comfortable. If that's you know, blah, blah, like very like Aww. careful. I'm like, no, no, it's fine. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. I just didn't yeah. know. Uh, I wish I could have been there. Um, <laughs> and then is it weird? Cause like then he was like sort of massaging my my penis, <laughs> yeah. like with his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. weird? No, no, no. That's part of it. Oh, just so you know, this is like, oh, it's just normal. Totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I'm kidding about it's that. It's funny. Are you are you freaked out, Ryan, about like going to the doctors or having to be naked or any of that stuff? Is like I don't give a shit anymore. Like um, I used to be bit. like oh, I need to cover up. Like this is and now I'm like oh man, I've been waiting here for 45 minutes. I have to pee. My clothes are in the other room. The X-rays here. Uh, I'll just, I gotta try, to, just try to take some of this paper and cover oh, up. Dude. I mean, I do not care anymore about especially at doctor's do. office i don't give a shit you know i when about 10 years ago i thought i had testicular cancer <laughs> i think it's because like tom green had an article oh god and, <laughs> and rolling stone fucking hyper and so i was sure and i lived in i lived in chicago and i didn't have health insurance so i went to like cook county emergency room <laughs> and uh i waited there for like hours and then i had like i remember like this clue this like young medical intern dude like feel my balls yeah Ugh. and just he clearly knew that i was being a hypochondriac, and he's yeah. just like feeling my ball. He's like, "Hey, listen, Ugh. hey man, did you read that, <laughs> did you read that Tom Green article or something?" I'm like, "Why do you ask?" He's did like, he really? Yeah, yeah. He like basically accused because he, he's feeling my balls, dude, and he feels nothing there. And- I have a better ball ball feeling story <laughs> for you. Because I I, I, really? I I went to the doctor. Oh. This is the same place I went to where I got my sleep study done. Because mm-hmm. there were a doctor's office and a sleep therapy like thing. Which I'll tell the sleep story another time. Okay. Um, but like. I go there and the fucking because I'm I'm going there for basically a physical, but also I feel like I have like te- I have something a lump in my ball, and I'm like, yeah. I, what the yeah, fuck is no, this? Yeah, no, I felt something too down yeah. there. Yeah, and it, uh, you know, of course, it was it's normal. It's whatever it was. Yeah. It, everyone has it, but um, but so he so the doctor's like, you know, uh, d- like d- you want me to feel him? You want me to check him for you? <laughs> yeah. Like ca- kind of like kind of like. Uh, like, uh-huh, do you uh-huh, do you really uh-huh. want? You, <laughs> no, not excited. Like, uh-huh. kind of like like. Yeah, you really wanna, do. You want to go here? And then I was like, well, I, I mean, I, I'm here. <laughs> I, I want to be. I want to be sure. I want your professional but I didn't. Opinion. But I didn't say it that way. It was very awkward. I was like, um, well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I guess so. I mean, I, yeah, I guess You're so. You're the doctor. I mean, yeah. And then so and then he like kind of felt him and then, but it was like the, the whole vibe was like. I think he thought I was gay and like I was trying to like get off on it. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, what? Why are you making me feel this way? Like I'm not. You're a fucking doctor for Christ's sake. Like I, I was. I left that place so fucking furious, <laughs> and I never went back because it was that fucking same place where I had that goddamn alien fucking sleep study thing. Can you imagine a doctor, a guy who just goes to the doctor and his balls felt because he gets off on it? I mean, yeah, it's like there's got to be people yeah. like that. Yeah. There's a Japanese game show probably about it too. Oh, dude, I was so fucking pissed. But yeah, it was the same fucking thing that you went. I know through. how to. Che- but at least your doctor che- was like checking for you. I know and how then, to like- check for testicular cancer. Do you want me to check? Could you? No. Yeah. Oh, what you, it, yeah, come here. Would you check my balls? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, for, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, can, can, can we do it on camera and yeah. upload it to the on, on Facebook radio? page? No, no, no. We've got to get a video. Get the fuck out of here. He won't do it. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Uh oh. This yeah, is going to be see. one of these. Uh, who, who's he who's going to who's going to bail first? Uh, wait, wait a minute. Don't look. I'm just going to hold my balls out. <laughs> All right, I'm, can this I videotape not, this, please? This is not going to happen. I'm going to really check my balls. Yeah, but I'm going to crunch them. Hold on. I got to fucking video this because... He won't do it. Why are we even wasting our time with this well, video on. camera? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm willing to give him a chance. Go ahead, Ryan. Come on. Uh, Jackie, would you... If I pulled my balls out and I had them, like, held there, like, uh, like on display, would you actually go and do what you, you, you do to check balls? Yes. I, she... But you don't know what I do <laughs> when I check balls is I crunch them. Oh, well, you're sort of like... That's what I'm saying. She's the one who's yeah, not... Yeah, I mean, come on. Do you really think that I'm going to... Yes, gonna put, I thought you meant, you know... Put your balls and then I'm not... I, I'm going to just gently... Yeah. Uh, that's her for lumps. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were hoping for. <laughs> All oh, right, so it's a, it's a big joke to you then. What a, a waste big joke. of Yeah, but video. I do. I do want to see... I, I want to see this happen because I think you're full of shit. All right. That I would I'm moving my balls on. Out? Yeah. I, I, I feel like I've been slighted. I got my camera out. I started filming. If, if she's saying she'll she'll touch my balls if I pull them out, I'll pull and them out. And he's desperate. Oh, so this is a, now it's a game of chicken. So it's like, who's going to fucking veer off t- or are you going to crash into each other? That's what we're doing here? But wait, I'm not a chicken. I, I mean, I don't well, give a shit. Well, are you I'll a touch- chicken? 
What do I have to do? Just touch, touch his, his balls? balls? You gotta like for or, like, you gotta examine. Or is he a chicken? He's the chicken, but so you got you say like so I gotta go. Saying, I gotta go like this. So who's gonna <laughs> bail first? <laughs> Who, who's gonna be the Who's gonna be the one to bail? You've got you've got to give a, a <laughs> you've got to give a at least the the, the appearance the of a up. testicular cancer examination. <laughs> Of the, <laughs> is that what they do? I don't know. I, I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hold on. <laughs> you would do that. <laughs> this is what I have to do. All right. Let's see. You let's would see. touch my balls like that. I, are they clean? For real? What do you mean? Are they clean? They probably smell like <laughs> dick cheese. All right. Come on, po- Ryan. Let's start it. Ready? Some and po- you're off. Who's gonna chicken out first? Do it with. Make Will sure. Ryan I hope Ridley your cousin listens to this show too. too and your grandfather. To Whip wait, wait, wait. his balls out, what or if, what if I? I'm just gonna pull them out through my fly. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. No, that's a chicken's way. No, it's not. That, that that's allowed. No, it has to be like you have to drop your drawers. No, so my dick. Come on. Like you know what she's doing? She's adding unrealistic yeah, totally. rules so that what? she doesn't have to do that's her part true. of it. That's not true. Yes, it is. What, what fun is that? To go and slide. What fun is it? It's slide it's, one ball so through your pull, fly. I've got to pull my pants out of my knees and, and you have to stick a carrot so up my, your ass. <laughs> so my dick and balls are hanging out right in front of you. All right, look. Here's the deal. What if I get aroused? What if it's like getting a massage from a man? <laughs> think about that i didn't get aroused at my massage by the way but there was i will say there were times where <laughs> like i like i i would start thinking about something that could have gotten me aroused and i was like no 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 fucking start think about bad things think about bad things i never even got to the point where where i started to get an erection but like every time there were like three times where like my brain was like oh yeah i'm gonna fucking fuck with you and i'm like no stop so you didn't don't enjoy, think about it you didn't enjoy your massage at all no That's i mean it was, was definitely about that stuff. It, it definitely <laughs> what was your brain doing was ah, like, ah, I mean, like, justin i would think a big about, hard cock no i was like thinking about like i mean i don't know i have a fucking warped oh, mind like wait, wait, g- g- give me an example what is evil justin mind thinking um and do its voice <laughs> you know i was thinking about my girlfriend because she was getting a massage and uh. i was like Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I, you know, but I mean, just thinking about certain things, and then like, and then I'm like, oh, I got it. I can't think about that shit. No, 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 no. Oh, you were thinking about your, your, your. The bad part of your brain was making you think your girlfriend in a sexual way to get you yes. aroused in order to make you. Actually- and I'm like, okay, I got to think about like, what if my dogs died? What if my dogs died? And then right away that helped. I was like, did oh, you that's ever horrible. do this when you were little? These mind games, like what you did? You ever have to go to church? Like did your yeah, mom ever go? Yeah, did you ever do things sometimes. like this? Like I, 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 and I still do this to this day. And now it's like some weird tick, but you go into church and then you say stuff like, I love the devil, I love the devil. Like, and you say it over and, <laughs> and over again like, in no, the back stop, of your stop. head. But you're like, oh, why did I say that? I shouldn't be yeah, saying that in no. church. Why that's do your you brain, do that? That's your brain fucking with you. It's, it's so stupid. It, Eckhart Tolle says. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. No. What? Your what mind, you what your mind is like a child in a sandbox. I just think playing. it's because Jackie thinks that you're. And that is I will come me. over and I will if you do that. For you to then observe you your to mind. Then you don't have to take your pants out. I will just fucking uh-huh. grab your For you your to nuts. observe your mind uh-huh. doing that. Uh-huh. That is you being in the present. Cuz I but it what? is true it's like when it's your like, mind says I like the devil. I, I like the devil. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like what the fuck is that? Why am why is why my brain do- doing that? That's you observing your own mind which is thrusting you into the present. Cause, cause what happens is it's like it's usually like you're in an inappropriate situation, or you know you're like you know you're like looking at somebody, talking to somebody, and you know what the worst thing you could say yeah, could yes. possibly be, yeah. and yeah. you just knowing that you just start your brain starts yeah. going like, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, almost yeah, like, yeah. what if you just said this? What if you yeah, just yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. said well, then this? Then you have right Asperger's. Now? Yeah. Well, you, you when that <laughs> happens, have, uh, you need to what, monitor what's that other thing called. We just swear. Tourette's. Oh, yeah. Tourette's. Yeah. Well, when that happens, you need to observe your brain spiraling and thinking of watch horrible things. No, no, you need to, like, look at, like, you need to, as soon as it happens, you know you're, it's not you, it's your fucking brain, and you you look at, you, you immediately start looking at your own brain and observing your own mind and going, wow, look at this fucking, look at how fucking my mind is. This is insane. Yeah. And then it's, then, then, then it's you, it's not your brain, which but is supposedly why, separate. But why, do you think, do you think, like, I always think this, like, just, like, do I, like, a, some old woman walking this, she's like, does she think horrible things like that? Oh, everybody, everybody does. Everybody does it. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even... Barack Do you think Obama. like you're going to be looking at your son one day, like your baby son, you're like, I could just fucking, what if I just fucked my baby right here? <laughs> like the most horrible oh, thing you're not God. supposed to but say. But you do think those things because it is the most horrible thing to say. I think terrible things like that. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, oh, the fact of the matter is you'll 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 think like I thought that fucking, was just the mushrooms I took that made me no. think those things. You'll think a horrible thing, but you'll immediately be like, oh, God, that's fucking horrible. Yeah. 
But, uh, you know, can I talk about bets? How we were like playing chicken? Ryan and I were just playing chicken right now. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're done. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, can we can we fucking and pull I, the trigger and yeah, start it? Are you are you gonna allow me to pull my balls out of the fly in my pants, or do I have to pull my pants all the way? Yeah, down? does he have to shove a fucking stick up his so ass? So one ball. No, through both the... testicles through the zipper. No penis, just testicles hanging out of the zipper. Uh, okay. That's it, and then you have and to cup them, gotta, and then you got to give me a testicular exam. Yeah. Oh. And really now, check now for. It's getting gross. And really check for. <laughs> okay, for, then I call it chicken. It's a medical. I want to throw up. Okay. Now it's getting gross. She, hey, you won, dude. Is it because you see me like digging into my fly right now? Well, I was just thinking about it. Like, what if they if they've been sitting there, they're all sticky all day, and it was hot today. You're dressed for winter more. It probably like I, it, the stench is on my fingers, and I'm gonna throw up. Um. So all Ryan right, wins. Win. Yeah, you win. Hooray! I would have done it, audience. I would have done it. Um. Can we talk about our bet, Justin? No. Um. What was our bet? Um, you said that you wanted to come see my house. And oh. then I said, is this a joke? And then you said, yes. And then you said, maybe this weekend. And I said, you're a liar. There's I no didn't way. say it was and a I joke. Said, Let's bet. Uh, yeah, no, I was like, maybe I'm, I'm curious to see your house. I've never seen your house. Is it, is, is that your house in the photo that you uploaded the Christmas thing? Oh no, no, oh. no, no. Uh, uh-uh, I wish that was my house though. Oh. That, um, I mean, Ryan's been to your house. I haven't been. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I want to see this fucking after dump. This week it'll look better. <laughs> there's a bar. There's a bar that we can walk to. Get drunk really? and make out with each other. With Justin? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Woo! Hey, who do you think? Have we asked this yet? Who Jackie thinks would be better in bed, Justin or I? Ew! Oh, dude. <laughs> Come on. What do you mean, come on? Uh, d- 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 you know, the I audience... do. I do have a pick, though. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, now I'm, now yeah, I, now I'm yeah. curious. Oh, now you're... Now I want to yeah, know. All right. I'll well, never tell. What are you talking about? Why won't you ever tell? Never I want to know. Yeah, I want to know, too. What are you doing, Justin? What is it that? Would, would, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I'm like miming. It would uh, hurt someone's feelings really bad. Oh, but. no. If it's, if, if it, I wouldn't be hurt if it wasn't me. I don't give a shit. Would <laughs> yes, you care? Yes, you do. No, you I would not care. I would I swear either. to God, I would care. You fucking, liar. I could care less. You lie. I, I think Ryan would be more hurt than me. I, no, I already, I already, you already don't think I'm attractive, so <laughs> why? How could I possibly be any more her? Like I I'm think not gonna, it's me. Like I think I'm. I think it's me that you, you think is better. I think I'm the In one bed? that she would pick. Jackie, please just tell us, and then I swear. That'd be no fun if I told. <laughs> It'd be the, all, all the fun in the <laughs> world know, because then everything. No, no, because then we could then we could analyze why you think that. You we like you'll say. Justin or me, and then and then we'll go. Oh, why, why? And then like the analysis will be the fun part. No Please. way! Yeah, yeah, we can Justin. really get we can get <laughs> cerebral, on, Jackie. It can, it, we can get really it'd cerebral be about it. No, it wouldn't. It'd be great. Wait, why would it be horrible? I am telling you, you can't do that. You can't do with groups of like people that you're close with their friends. You can't say, well, "I went, I did this, I did that." You're not. You're not you you saying. You're not saying that you want to have sex. Yeah, exactly. With either of us. You're saying who you think would be better in bed. Yeah. Um, both. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So, du- uh, double teaming Chinese finger cuffs. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what? Now someone will write in an email that's like, Jackie derails a thing. She can never yeah, divulge exactly. anything. Yeah. She ruins every yes. bit. Well, yes. good. Fuck, I'm bring it on. Write the what? motherfucking email. <laughs> I don't give Jackie, a fuck. How come you're so free to be open and honest about how you think I'm not attractive, but then you're all of a sudden you get your. Because I mean. <laughs> Oh. Because I'm mean spirited. So you okay? Can we have? Can we? Can we guess? Yeah, you can guess, but okay. I won't tell you. Well, then there's no point in guessing. No, I mean, she, is it? Is it? Is it? Do you, okay. Does the person? Does the, no, no, no. Let me ask you this: the person have, that you think is better in bed, do you do you think it because of <laughs> talking to them? <laughs> I'm trying to what? Think. There's no way. Like you can't. Uh, you're not gonna be able to outsmart her. Into, do you think it's revealing. because you heard stories? No, uh, uh-uh. I well, haven't heard any stories it's just based about on either what? of you. It's just based on what then? Yeah, what 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 is it based on? You said you have a definite pick. So yeah. what yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. information informs that pick? Um, what is your guidelines in which you would have your belief your that judgment be rendered? Yeah, because it's all based on assumptions and a belief, or guess, it's based on evidence that you I have guess, somehow um, peripherally pro- gathered. Probably per- like based on personality, I guess. 
<laughs> so, Justin, mm-hmm. one of us has a more overtly sexual. No, no, it's not that. It's not overtly sexual. Well, then what is well, it? Well, I think the, I think the <laughs> listeners should write in and try to try to wait, figure wait, wait, it out. Okay, try, well, try well, to well, let's guess. at least ask a couple then, more questions. Yeah, yes, okay. and then I will answer the next on the next show. Okay. How what about what that? is what is the the personality traits that you think would indicate that? Ah, <laughs> good one. Ah, oh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Wow, that's 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 pretty much going to give it away, isn't it? <laughs> Jackie. Well done. Silence. Well done, uh, monk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Angela Lansbury over here. Oh, my God. Uh, is it true, Jackie? Uh, you just can't ask things like that. That's like saying, like, I don't, am I pretty? Who do you think's prettier? Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, oh, shut up, everyone. Who do you think's prettier? Me <laughs> or Ryan? <laughs> you already know. Yeah, actually, all right, I know. All right, enough of this. All right, so you promise that if listeners can write in speculating. I don't promise anything. You I don't have to did. keep my word, and no one's the boss of me, Dude, and I can do whatever I want. That's bullshit. So send in your hate emails. <laughs> You're a cock blocker. <laughs> You're a fucking. Why would either of you even care? Oh, my God. I don't. I don't care. Oh. It's Ryan who cares. Dude, don't you want to know, A, like, what you... That's not based it's, on anything. Yeah, I, mean, ju- I think Justin. There, I think Justin. Are I think you being be serious? Justin. I'm being serious. There Yay! You go. I win! High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Ryan's Thank you. on the floor Thank you, ladies now. and gentlemen. You know, the only way to prove it, Ryan, is for both of us to have sex with Jackie. <laughs> yeah! And then for her to <laughs> fill out a checklist and sort of tally up a score. Oh, I was wrong about that. Oh, I was right about that, though. Uh, so, <coughs> why, 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 More Jackie? Applause. Now you have to say why. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yeah. High five, Justin. High five. Is it because you just think Justin be like, woo, ha, ha. <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> what do you oh, think? God. Okay. No. <laughs> now this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I did not think Justin would do that. <laughs> Bing bong. Hey. He's not like that, though. You've seen how he is. Like he's a different person. Very sensual. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a I'm See, like a German now, Justin, don't Nazi ghost. Do you feel ghost. uncomfortable now that I said that? No, no I don't. I, no, I didn't yeah, think you no, don't no. really care. Yeah, no, I no. Get, it's so clear you care. Because now Justin's going like oh, he what doesn't mean? care. Yeah, yeah, though. yeah. Now, hey, I might be able they to fucking they get they a piece. They haven't made <laughs> eye contact in the last. Are you shut up? That is why though Justin would get fixed because he doesn't care. I don't give a shit. He doesn't fucking care. He does hey. about some things, but not about others. Yeah. Um, and, you know, look, I, I, I got I get plenty at home. What I, You know, wh- ja- what is Justin, it? Justin, look in Jackie's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I have been. I don't look. No, no, Ryan. <laughs> See what happens when you, if you give him a piece of information like this. Yeah. He's going crazy See, right now. You know what? We, because he's, un- he's uncomfortable. Well, I think he's, he's got. Sad. He lost. Hey, but you won the chicken thing about your balls. Tears from a clown. (laughs) You guys, I started started smoking. Are you serious? What? It's a full on thing now. Shut the fuck up. You're a smoker. Do you have a pack of smokes with you? I left them at home on purpose because I knew that I'd be out and about in the town to not smoke them. Wait, I I don't understand. Very cool. Hold on, hold on. How old are you? At home. Old. And 40, you're starting. 42. You're starting. Did you ever smoke before in your life? Just to be cool. And now so, you're like, all right, I'm gonna lock into like, a full on cigarette. How much are cigarettes? How much do they Dude, cost? Dude, Jackie, $6 why? A pack. That's so fucking why, retarded. F- why would you spend six dollars? Yeah, because like, I want to be cool. There's other it ways makes to be me cool. Feel good. I gotta admit, I, I I don't smoke, but I know like when I used to bum smoke, it, it, I know it feels good, but it's so stupid because you're gonna it get it. It doesn't feel good. It makes me want to fucking puke. Because you haven't tried. No, I have. It, I lucked out because... If you come over to my house, I'm going to make you smoke. Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, lucked out. Yeah. No. I lucked out because when I was a kid, we did a bunch of dip, like like che- Ew, chewing. that's gross. I was like fucking 13, and I fucking put a big old wad in, and we were like buzzed and running around the fucking dairy farm laughing and giggling, and then like all of a sudden, poof, I just like felt so fucking sick. I spit the shit out. That's tobacco juice, though. It doesn't matter. It does. It's that. No, no, no. I associate like nausea and just fucking sick to my stomach with that nicotine buzz. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? Fuck yeah, oh, I've tried okay. it. And and I and and I got the nicotine buzz, and immediately I was like, ooh, fuck this. 
because it made me fucking want to puke. Oh. And I'm like, thank God, because like that shit is so fucking addictive and fucked up and just there's no good there's no nothing but good about it. I don't care. It. You should. That's fucking retarded. I'm going to lock myself into a good old nicotine habit at the age of 30 fucking Yeah, now that it doesn't matter anymore. I mean, I spent my whole life being good it and kind not of doing does that. Matter. Like no, here's you the thing. You know what I mean? If and you're going to like fuck wait, this hold on. shit. If you're going to like yeah, but like that's that's stupid. Like do, like do oh, like get And here's get another some, reason why do smoke is weed like, or something. Um, like like do it's something too, that's That's too expensive. Oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me? That's a much Wait, more Wait, what's the other reason habit. why? Is no, it is when you're at you bars, it. when you're at bars and no boys are looking at you at all uh-huh. and you're just then sitting there while you're watching the people you came with make out with other boys, you're like, "Boy, I wish I had a cigarette." And no, when you, you know do, what? you need to get an that's iPhone. That's where all the great people are. No, get an iPhone. All the cool people, all the good people smoke. And yeah. that like our president that's not true. is a smoker and that's why I voted for okay, him because smokers are you? honest people. No, they're not. Can yes, I tell they you? Are. Can I tell you something? No, they're fucking That's that's like saying all black people are bad. That's they like a, are. Oh, <laughs> but Listen. our president is both a black no, president love, and a smoker. I so. love him. So wait oh, a it's minute. Half and half. Um. So no. But the point I'm trying to make is get a fucking iPhone. How do you know there's not guys at the bar? They're like, oh, she's kind of cute. I might nobody, go talk to her. Nobody and talks then, to me, and nobody and then looks as soon at as you me. light up a cigarette, they're like, ah, oh, fuck that. I no, hate fucking. No, because I I learn. I'm not joking you, and I've been forcing myself to go out, and I want to kill myself when I'm in the bar. And that's where the cigarette things came in handy because I'm like, I cannot, what am I just going to stand here and like keep talking to this same people? They're not, you know what I mean? But when I go outside on the patio that I'm like, wow, these people are I, interesting and I they strike up a conversation. Yeah. That's stupid. I like them. I don't believe. I like them well, better. go out there and talk. You don't need to fucking smoke to be able to be around those people. I don't what, what are they not going to let I, you in? I don't They're, believe. I gotta say this. I'm sorry. But yeah, I don't ahead. believe that there's no men. Not there's no men. I've never looking at you. No one. I've never. I swear to God, I'm not even trying to be like. Because eh, you, cle- you, you, you clean up. You clean up. You clean up fairly well. I swear to God. Uh huh. Not once. Yeah, not but are you once. sitting there like looking not at the at all. ground? No, like, no, like, no, 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 no. I make hmm. sure like, and I ask my friends. What I'm kind of like, bar Am I acting weird or like whatever? They're like, No, no, no. It's like I'm smiley and like happy to be out. I fucking force myself to go out. And, uh, yeah, no, nothing. Dude, you're in the thick of it right now. Oof. The thick of what? Just the thick of fucking, you know, I don't know, just depression. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, That fucking, I gotta go out, but hating it and, like... It's miserable. Trying to find some solution to ail your fucking sorrow. And (laughs) nothing's gonna work. Smoking is only gonna get you... Like, I actually knew somebody... smoking bides the time. Well, I have to wait. Before, I would just escape. uh, Where'd you go? Well, I was crying all the way on the drive home. That's where I went. So now it's like, all right, so I'm going to stick it crying. out. So at least smoking gives me something to do. Why not get a drink? Crying. I've already, I've depleted the drinks and I have to drive. Oh. I'm like, I got to be not, careful. Why not knit? Oh my Just God. get an iPhone. Then you can play like Angry Birds or some fucking that's bullshit. Lame. I think that's lame too. Like, is it? I don't, just that's the 21st century I cigarette. I see people doing that and I'm just How like, is that Ugh. any more lame than fucking sucking on because a goddamn poison? Because smoking is like, hey, do you got a light? Yeah, hey, cool. Did you see the blah, 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 blah. And then there's talking. At least there's talking to pass the time away. It's hard, Justin. It's like, I'm lonely around people. It. I'm lonely when I'm Someone home alone. Someone has to invent some new like thing to replace that cigarette. Like, oh, hey, we're fucking, we, we all got to stick together, right? Can I bum a smoke? <laughs> hey, but, let, let make a new friend here because of this horrible that, fucking weakness I have no, that's killing when me. When you were in high school, I don't uh, I mean, I don't know if you're, but like I think about when I was a freshman and there was a senior like, oh, that was the smoking group. They've listened to the best music. Sure, they're probably all in jail or bums now, whatever, but they were the cutest. They're probably all they a thousand all years older looking than the, us because of the fucking. But it doesn't matter. The, but they were the people that I was like, who, I want to know what those people are about. I want to yeah. be friends with them. Yeah. And go are you that them susceptible to the to oh, that superficial? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm horrible. I'm, that way. Can you tell she's like she's like totally like buys into like 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 you know those like whenever they do those movies or those shows like a show episode where it's like like yeah like the cool punk kid and like in the first act and a half he's like really cool and then also you find he's like fucking horrible abusive yeah, 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 guy yeah, yeah, yeah. oh give me like, a break and you've seen the, freaks the girls and geeks are crying, no like, yeah, yeah. You know, why, yeah, that's Jackie no it's okay why it's did okay. Lindsay hang sorry. out with with Daniel Desario from or from um, Freaks and Geeks why this. from Freaks and Geeks the I main characters it. uh-huh. it's because they were interesting and yeah they were like they were the, the losers but they yeah, were but, the babes uh-huh. James Franco right. smoking and wearing a you know army jacket I have no sympathy for people if you're over the age of 20 
22 and you start smoking, you're fucking retarded. I think people that smoke early on, and like in high school, fine. You're you're a dumb kid. You're like get caught up in that fucking social hierarchy you of high don't school. Know anything. And the cool kids are. Fu- you're like, ah, oh, I better fucking. I gotta do this to be cool. But if you're like fucking, yeah, over me, the age of 22, lady. and especially over the age of 30, and you start fucking a smoking habit. I gotta catch up. I gotta whoa. make up for lost time. Dude, that's fucking out of control. Like, that's crazy. And I've always felt that way. Do you like, do you think that guys, like, when you see, like, like you like Don Draper? Do you watch Mad Men? Oh, well, they smoke, on. like, yes, a chimney on that show. So do you, like, like, you, admit it, you kind of like guys who are, like, play players, like, who bang a bunch of chicks, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Come Gross. on, Jackie. No. All girls are gonna say, all girls are gonna say no, but they're instinctually, <laughs> subconsciously no, no, I like, attracted to that. I like jerks. That. I like jerks. That doesn't mean player. Jerks I like loyal. jerks. Who yeah, are jerks just are very like, loyal. Huh? They're very, they're a very, very loyal breed. Those jerks. Uh-huh. Pe- people like guys that just are like, I can't be bothered. Hey, idiot! I'm gonna stay true to you, but uh, you know. But hey, hey go fuck Tyson, yourself. Is that you? Go make me a sandwich, <laughs> you fucking bitch. Go make me a sandwich. What you need something for me? Gonna, I swear, fuck I'm you. never gonna have sex with anyone else. You idiot, but why don't you do some, uh... Why don't you leave me alone for a couple of take days? Take a few minutes on the, uh, exercise bike. And don't come looking for me. <laughs> yeah, um, I think jerks are kind of exactly the type that, that Ryan's talking about. No, because some jerks are, like, mysterious, sad jerks. Like, they're not, they're not players, they're just, like... Mysterious, gloomy, sad. but yeah, don't look you in mistake, my iPhone. I'm you mistake mysteriousness <laughs> for grouchy and grumpiness, I suppose. You don't get to know where I work or where I am nine hours a day. Okay, yeah. I'm mysterious. I'm mysterious. That's what's That's alluring like, about you're me. You're like doing some type of like New Jersey grosso Guido hey. guy, but I do not like that type of Jackie, guy. I gotta go for a few days. Are you Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, don't come looking for me. The city needs a protector. I am the protector. <laughs> Okay, Jackie, I'll call you. You know right what? Back. I don't even know what I like anymore, and it doesn't matter what I like because I can't have it, and I'm gonna die alone, mm-hmm. yeah, penniless well, and alone, and smoke and lung cancer. Yeah, and and like skin that looks like yeah. seventy year old skin when Bring you're forty. It. Bring it. What's the point? Why not? And I don't care. Stinky any. I really fingers don't and care anymore yellow about teeth that. Yeah. And tarred up lungs. Let's just go crazy then, Jackie. Yeah, why not heroin? Why not just just dive in? Let's do some Thelma and Louise shit. You and me, girl. Okay. We'll just we'll liquidate our bank accounts. Get fucking cash, money, money, money in a backpack. That'll to get us to Bakersfield. <laughs> God, th- this is this is depressing. This is a really we'll get a de- well. Ca- now you know what my welcome to my world. It's gotten worse. I don't understand. It's been like what? How many months for me now? And every month gets worse. Jackie, here's the deal. This is what we'll do. Worse. We'll, 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 we'll go on a road trip together. We'll buy like a bunch Death of Valley. Ca- uh, no, no, we're gonna go all the way to New York. Okay. We're gonna go to what? Just you and I? Yeah, yeah. No. We're gonna get cartons yeah, of smokes. I won't smokes. go. I won't go. If it's Justin, though, I'll totally whiskey. go. If it's Justin, I'm totally gonna. How else am I supposed to show you how good in bed I am? Yeah. yeah. Woo! You know, like, yeah! like ha- no. <laughs> Halfway through, we'll be staying in some seedy hotel in like you know hey, North Jackie. Dakota. I would scream. <laughs> Go, 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 go. You know, Ryan, I have to say, I know I used to give you a lot of crap on the <laughs> podcast, but I gotta admit, you're pretty cute. You're looking <laughs> cuter and what's, cuter. What's z- 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 That's like the outside, like the motel that we're staying in, oh, like some shitty, right, like, right, right. like, oh, you mean we're sharing a room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like Gross. slugging, like, like whiskey and like sharing uh-huh, the bottle uh-huh. and like kind of talking about getting mm-hmm. drunker and drunker. That's how I'm imagining what, how we finally hook Your up. Fan- you mean his is his fantasy? Yeah. 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 And it's all, it's like, it's like a typical road trip thing. Like you're trying to go see some jerk that you love, like in a band. And then I'm like kind of sitting there and going, (laughs) yeah, you're the best friend. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Did John Hughes write this? (laughs) (laughs) So you in? You in? I I said, is Justin coming or like, I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. (laughs) I know. I mean, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if Justin was coming, but it's just like, it'd be really cool if he could join us. Yeah. I don't know if I can make it. Oh, I mean, when do you want to go on the trip? uh, You know, listen, uh, bitch, I got shit to do. (laughs) Oh yeah. Well, like we could just like arrange it around your schedule. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Yeah. You got to shut the fuck up right now. I mean, would you want to go? I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. No. No. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, All right, I'll, I'll tell you what. You we can go, but you're riding in the trunk. How about if you give me the monetary equivalent of what it would cost, and I'll just pocket it, and you go have fun. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh, I just thought it'd be fun if we could go together. All right, well, yeah, you can go on. The, you ride in the trunk, then. <laughs> you drive. In the fucking dog. You drive crate. the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna get in BJ's in the back. <laughs> Tie masseuses the whole time. Well, that- <laughs> <laughs> It's Man. listen.
listener yeah. email what? time. What? Listener email time. Here we go. We're gonna barrel through some real juicy ones today. This time. All right. This this subject is segment slash contest idea. It says, "Hey, Jackie." <gasps> Heart sign. Ooh! Justin and Ryan, I was wondering if it would be plausible to hold a hold a write a mean poem about Jackie contest. Oh, no, that's yeah. Horrible. What do you want me to cry? With the prize being something like a signed photo of you three. Oh, yeah. I personally like sure we can do that. I personally like haikus, uh, so here's my first entry. Jackie uh, is awesome, but she steals from the thrift store. That weird creepy <laughs> bitch. Or Jackie's pretty, but inside she has no soul. She fucks her daddy. Ew, that was <laughs> or, horrible. Or great haikus. Jackie gives me joy. But her soul is black as night, evil incarnate. Oh, that's a good this, one too. A boy or, a girl. or just to make her, or just to make her complain, Jackie has had sex. I know because I've seen the tape. Best porno ever. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> is it a boy or a girl who wrote that? Uh, he didn't sign it. It's a he though. <laughs> yeah, it's a he. I think. Oh, so I don't want any mean so poems. I can't. That? I know I'm a mean person, but I don't think we I can need take some it. really I can't take mean it. poems. No. For if you want me to cry on the air, sure. Oh, what if we have one. a new contest? Whose poem can make Jackie break down into tears? Yeah, yeah, really? Oh, God. I, I, won't, will... I won't go to the podcast that day. No, then. I'm kidding. We, I'll go, to, we I'll wouldn't call do in that. Sick. But three it would lines. be. It could be an interesting contest. You've got three lines to send Jackie into tears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the winner gets God. a signed photo of Jackie. <laughs> of all three of us. <laughs> of all three of us. <laughs> Uh, in tears. This next one says, worst song ever. It also, I like, scanning it, says Jackie in here too somewhere. Oh, no. From Otto Weirich in Dallas. Uh-huh. Or Weirich. I yeah. love your I show. Like his name, Otto. And keep it coming. Uh-huh. And Jackie, keep the sexy voice you guys said we should, you guys said we should what? send you stuff. It's He didn't punctuate. <sighs> and keep it coming. And Jackie, keep the sexy voice. You guys said that you, we should send you stuff, and I don't, I don't have anything, but I wanted to share with you guys the worst song ever. It's called Friday. Just type Friday. I'm not sure if you've heard oh about it. Oh my God, that's the one you wrote about, right, this, Justin? This and then email I, that was sent lady, March Rebecca. March 27th. And yeah, then but... I looked at it and I was like, "Why didn't I think of being that producer? Do you know how much money we could have made getting these rich brat kids to pr- overproduce oh, I know. their shitty I know. songs? I know. But those guys are writing songs that are. I mean, you can't deny that that song. If you take all the lyrics out, uh-huh. it's a very like standard modern pop song. Pop yeah. Song. yeah. But yeah. like the lyrics are just whoa. You got really? How are they any worse than any other lyrics? <laughs> They're pretty she, bad. She wrote but, them though, right? The girl. I, she must have. God, it's but the so thing genius. is, the thing is though, the thing that I realized is like very quickly after that phenomenon happened, I, I, I started to just get disgusted by all the parodies. It was, uh-huh. it was like yeah. a, to me, it was an immediate sign of uh, hack. Like well, you're a yeah. fucking hack. You know, here's the problem now with comedy, with like funny or die and all that stuff. It's like somebody is somebody does something retarded and then like within a week they're in bed with the people making fun of them like yeah. hey I have a sense of humor but it's like no 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 we like it when you're not in on the joke like mm. stop like you know it just it feels lame all of a sudden I'm not even saying I mean that is annoying too but I'm just saying like you go on YouTube you type Friday and there's 10,000 comedy spoofs yeah like a, a fucking this funny dude who did this really <laughs> well produced shot on a fucking yeah. HD Panasonic yeah. fucking yeah. that his mom bought him and he's like you know like I wake up in the morning and I'm fine, you know the, to that song yeah, and yeah. You're, it's like this isn't fucking funny it's yeah. just embarrassing for you you're not fucking funny it's like the Blair Witch but it's got a, a, a million views yeah. and it's like oh god because cash that, that's in always, on this but that's always a good gauge of what your the audience uh, is like what how the world is you know what yeah. I mean is that there was that many views is because that's the majority of how people People think and feel about Ugh, stuff like that, which is sad. I mean, the, the the girl just, I mean, look, she's, it's rich. like, rich. well, yeah, she's rich and she got to do this little Spoiled. video and she's probably a little, you know, vapid, for, you know, but, <laughs> but it could just be the, that Based it's her age. What? She's 12 or something. Uh-huh. So it's like, you know, is it, it, it's too easy a target. Like really? Like, yeah. okay. I mean, th- there was a couple funny videos that like, that, that sort of made fun of it. But very few, like maybe mm. three, I saw that I was like, okay, that's that's pretty good. But everything, not to mention, I'm sure Jimmy Kimmel did and Jimmy Fallon. Dude, it's and- like Jesus Christ! Like, like, could you shoot at a lower, a lower fucking target than that? Like, like, oh my God! It's like just let her go and do her thing. It's fucking too easy. Well, they, the, I'm sure that they're glad that that got got all that attention because she was like number one or something, right? Uh, the- yeah, uh, she's over 50 million downloads yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, on yeah. on uh, her views, and I don't know. But the thing is, good for her, and also. Um, I hope, I fucking hope it comes out in a few years that she's a total fucking troll and she fucking Oh, but totally... she's going to have to do a sex tape. 
because this will be the pinnacle of her career, and then she'll have nothing. I want to find out that she wrote that. She's like Andy Kaufman. I want to find out that she like fucking is this mad genius. She sat down and constructed no. these lyrics. They're never like Andy we, Kaufman. We so excited. We so so ex- like just these. Like like baby talk retarded. By the way, whatever he, happened to the the, the gold the DJ with the golden voice, homeless man? Oh no, he was a he's a drug addict and alcoholic, and but they his gave addiction. Him a shot to things, didn't yeah, they? but his, his addiction. I just saw it like on YouTube, it's just he, like he was an actual oh. working DJ whose drug addiction knocked him into the streets. But he met his mother, and then he went back to it to drugs. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah no, dude. I mean, he had he that guy could have literally. He had the world handed to him for this brief moment of time, and he fucking oh, went back to drugs. Oh, it makes me so... So he's yeah. back out on the street. Yeah. I just saw, like, on YouTube, mm. that video popped up again. I just that thought, makes like, me oh, sad. God. Like, yeah. And, 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 just, and what the saddest part to think about is, like, like, everybody cared for, like, that one week, and now nobody gives a shit. I care. That bummed me out. But Bum. I'm not going to give yeah. him a dollar. No, I mean, I mm. thought... I thought... I was excited. I was like, oh, good. I, yeah, I, I hope yeah. this guy... I want to see him succeed. I want to see him be the voice of Pull the fucking... Pull himself up by his boost tracks. Yeah. If but he no, can he's, do it, then Jackie can do no, it. No, he, he, he's, he's, he's got the monkey on his back. All right. So mm. this next one is from our old super fan, Sarah Rome. Yay, All Sarah! Right. I've been a little... Uh, you know, I've been trying to limit the emails I read. I meant to hit this I, one. I think hers did make the cut last couple times. <laughs> oh. Hey, GVP buddies, it's Sarah Rome again, and let me just say Aww. thank you guys so much for taking the time to read my emails. The show really keeps me going every week or so, and it is amazing we mentioned in something I love so much. Anywho, let's get to the point. I've recently been getting really into some good music. <gasps> Blink-182. What? Nirvana. Sarah, no, The no. Clash. Clash is okay. Radiohead. I saw that her Green and Tyler Day. have been sharing um, musical interests, and is that on there, like Blur and... Roxy Music and no, no? Oh, Blink One Eighty Two. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Like pop. Check <laughs> out no. American Analog Set. And I started to wonder what kind of music you guys like. Sarah, don't listen to the. I like Blonde Blink Redhead, American Analog didn't Set. Didn't you, Justin? Didn't you like Nirvana? Baruch Assault. Like Nirvana, Nirvana really I like Nirvana. You were like really into Kurt Cobain. Like when he died, you got super bummed oh, out. Oh yeah, I was. I was totally fucking bummed <laughs> out. I was miserable. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That was like one of my. That still is my, one of my all-time favorite bands. But I don't listen to them anymore. Really. Did you? Did you get bummed out, Jackie? I didn't, I was not a, I appreciated Nirvana, but like if you listen to that in my school, you were a poser. Oh, well, so, I wasn't a poser. Um, but I, I just remember, liked it. I remember a kid named Brad was a huge mega fan and he, I could tell he was ready to burst into tears. And I remember I felt so bad for, like I had never really paid him attention because I was yeah. just like this fucking poser and Nirvana, MTV, blah, 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 whatever. I was also a jerk in high school as well. And I remember how sad he was. And uh, I said, oh, no, no, no. It's just a publicity stunt. Like I had you this whole thing. Him? I lied. I said, no, 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 no. This, this didn't happen. Like, I'm sure he's fine. They're just, it's a joke, you know. And I even, I think I brought up things about like um, Andy Kaufman, you know, they say he died of cancer. But I mean, everybody knows. Like I was just grabbing for oh anything because I felt so horrible for him because i saw his whole world his whole like two years of his life were dedicated to nirvana that's what he wore like nirvana shirts every day and his whole world was crumbling right as it was being announced or rumored and i had him convinced that it was like a publicity oh you thing. were oh sorry i was spacing out for a second you actually were only doing that to help him yeah your... i felt horrible i mean was I he had like picked on was he like him and i had been jackie, sort of mean was he like jackie you're fucking full of shit like no he's dead. He, he was like <laughs> he's really dead. really i was like yeah 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 this i mean this happens all the time oh, and what did he say like the next and week? then he didn't show up to, to school the next day and i was like oh my god he found out it was he really killed himself or he did something he showed up to class the next day and i just said i'm so sorry i'm really really sorry and he was like, why did you say all that stuff? And I was like, I was trying to make you feel better. And, he's like, so and then he was like, but you've been mean to me this whole year. Like, why are you? And I was like, I was trying, trying to help. But I've been, I was very like, uh, yeah, eye-opening, that's like, that's what you eye-opening do thing. When, when you're, when you're, if you have a kid and their dog or pet dies, you say, no, no, it's alive. It's totally alive. It is. <laughs> Just it, postpone the pain for a day. <laughs> but it is days. what I do. That is my defense thing. If like someone lie. in the family gets like diagnosed with ca- brain cancer and has, uh, you know, five days left. I'm like, that's a joke. That's like, that's not true. <laughs> oh my like, God, that's, man, not that's, good. that's what I do. That's what I do with my life. Yeah, cigarettes <laughs> and lies. And one day you are going to come to yourself and go, Jackie, why? Well, I say why that every day. Why do you lie to ourselves? <laughs> oh my God. Um, check out Allison Chains' Air. 
Uh, oh, oh, Andy he's just, Williams. He's just reading his iTunes. Um, Sarah, just all of Soundgarden. those are great picks. Don't listen to Blink One Eighty Two. The Beatles and are listen, good, and and everybody wants uh, Combat Rock for Belly. the Clash. But you know, go by uh, self titled or London, London Calling. Elastica. Those are the those are the best. Black Sheep. Best, best, best. The rappers. The presidents of the United States of America. No, fuck that. Okay, next email. Bug. Next email. Uh, They're good. Uh, You're not supposed to okay, have okay, your laptop fine. up. I'm monitor. I'm recording the fucking show. Hot girl. No, Jackie, I'm not talking about you. This is the I subject of our next that. email from Otto again. Hey, I'm Otto. I'm 12, and I have a question for you. There's a girl that I really like, and we're best friends. I've already asked her out, but she said no, but it was a joke. Yeah, interesting. Oh, ah, nice, good good yeah. way to, you know, uh, win win situation on I'm that. I'm not one. shyer. <clears throat> he spelled it like where the hobbits live. I'm not shyer. I'm assuming <laughs> he means shy. Okay. I'm not shyer if we go out and then break up. I am afraid to loose our friend. What? Just read Otto's Please, pay attention. Pay, attention. Please no. pay attention in school. I am afraid to loose our friendship, friend space ship. So I'm not shyer if, oh, he's trying to say sure. sure. If we should stay best friends or if we should go out. Thank you guys. Keep the podcast coming. Okay, well, coming. let me, t- t- oh, let's no. start at the beginning here. <laughs> Number one, it doesn't sound like you have much of an option. You've already asked her and she said no. And then you said, oh, I was just kidding. So was, clearly you've been over. rejected. I, yeah. Even though you had the built in safety net there, it still means she said no and she's not going to say yes to you. The other th- so so that sort of negates your whole question, which is, should we get together? Because, well, it's, it's not going to happen. I don't want to ruin our beautiful friendship we've built at 12, 12 years, years old. 12 years old. That's the other thing I want to say is, oh, so when you're bad. that age, dude, fuck all friendships with girls. It's all about getting yeah. fucking pussy at that age, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, that's not Seriously, true. Seriously, because that girl, that girl is not going to be a, a lifelong friend. I guarantee you. In, Swing in, for the fences, Otto. Even in five Go years. Bro. say that. You, even no, boys at that I've age, been there. so... Uh, oh. I've been there. I know what he look. Fuck this whole friendship bullshit. You he's need to, twelve. Do you think he's already doing it? Oh no, no, That's no I'm not. So I'm not. Sad. I'm not seriously recommending he has sex. You should have I'm a ju- summertime crush. My joke is, th- or my my point is this. <laughs> my point is this. Who really revealed? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, No, my point. Back. My point is this. Obviously, it's not about sex, but it definitely shouldn't be about friendship. If you want a girlfriend, then ha- get, try, go after her. But you might need to, you know, exercise, eat Jackie's right. Jackie's pantomiming smoking a cigarette. Dude, you need to fucking get over it. The sad thing about cigarettes is it's not this. If you kind of go, ooh, if it's a fat, it's like a like you kind of get into it for a little bit, like sort of as like just this thing that you're playing around with. It, it, it's the one thing that will never go away. Like yeah. you will be permanently addicted I to it. I love the way my fingers smell. Ugh. I love the way it's, my hair it's, smells. It's, 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 the scent of my balls would be uh, worse than the because cigarettes. Smell like some type of cheese. Can I say this? I don't believe that that men and women can have platonic friendships. If you don't believe me, watch 1989's When Harry Met Sally. I think that's made pretty clear of a point in that oh, film. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I just don't believe it's possible. You think that the, if your friends and it's I don't, possible, one of them wants to do it. Hold on. I, let yes. me make my point clear huh. here. I mean, I have like a couple platonic female it's friends. It's possible to have platonic but friends, but not, not when lot. you're fucking 12. Why bother? Yeah, I'm saying you can. It's elementary school. He's in sixth grade. That's all about friends and girls and crushes. That's okay, fine. Most, you're right. Junior but, high, yes. Okay, when you get into junior high okay, junior and high, high school, high school. Don't yeah. look for friends. Look for girlfriends because these girls that you're going to be friends with are going to be gone like a fucking rocket ship. You're never going to see them again as soon as you graduate. And also make Done. it very clear from the beginning that you're not in it for the friendship. Yeah. If after a week you don't ask them out, then you're going to lose your opportunity. Yeah. And then you tell them. Marginalized. Look. And then you tell the girl this. You say, look, later. I'm yeah. not going to be fucking yeah. Ducky from yeah. 16 Candles <laughs> standing around with a fucking. Uh, I'm not going to be Xander from Buffy the Vampire yeah. Slayer. No, I don't know that. But yeah. Yeah, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's okay. my advice. And seriously, don't have sex until you're 18. That's the other thing. Yes. Or and 30, like Ryan. Yeah. Wait till you're 30, Wait like Wait till Ryan you're 30. Did. I've been balls deep in girls since 1992. Gross. All right, go ahead. Gross. Um, just kidding. Uh, and by girls, I mean my hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. A thought is the subject of this next email. Okay. Dear Grammar's Virginity, just finished listening to the most recent podcast. I particularly enjoyed the part in which Rob Schraub recounted the times Abed had hurt and betrayed him <laughs> and how Abed glibly responded to the charges without, without so much a trace of guilt or remorse in his trippy voice. Uh-huh. Uh, which, by the way, um, there's been a lot of uh, talk on the Facebook page about how we're too mean to Abed. 
You oh, I, I agree. Justin. I and agree. You, and your mom was the one to come and go, you don't know Abed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, he goes on to say, I thought that this might be a good idea for a regular recurring segment. Each week, a friend of Abed would appear on the show. He or she describes in vivid detail real instances in which Abed had th- thoughtlessly hurt or double-crossed them. Perhaps, I love it. Yeah. Perhaps it could be set in a court atmosphere. The friend pre- presents the charges. Abed tries to defend himself. Well, I, oh. I definitely don't think it should be that big of a production, but I bam, love bam, it just bam. as a blanket segment yeah. like fuck yeah because i've got a billion and i can't even remember them <laughs> it's all it's not fair though because i remember abed's story or excuse me rob's story about the toy that the, a fan had made or a doll uh, yeah but i can see abed he's a child that's why i love him that's why i never get okay, mad at or upset I'll tell you him because what. to our listeners who don't know him that's a new, he reminds me of an eight-year-old boy but he's a fucking 32 year old it doesn't man. matter he's sweet and he is innocent and he's eight he's like an eight-year-old kid and i can't get mad at someone like that no matter what oh you could no i couldn't it would have happened already jackie i'm telling you right now no. if you've known him as long as i have you would easily get mad at no him. i wouldn't because he because he runs his fucking good goodwill runs out fairly quickly with people when he He's around them, and know. also as we've learned from Abed, he knows how to play his little sure, eight-year-old self. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. to get to get people yes. to sympathize. He's, 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 he's a crafty he's, one. Yeah, he knows Abed. what he's up he's to. A crafty the whole, the whole third grader. The whole season, uh, season three of Stranger the Candy thing. Like, yeah. oh, the well, here's here. the thing. I I think well, the compromise can be this. We should do this segment if if Abed's interested, and I can. Oh, he'll be he'll interested. He'll be interested. And uh, and and, 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 and we'll be and we'll be we'll be a little bit nicer to Abed for our listeners. I heard he has a podcast now, and I haven't heard it, but it sounds like it's getting really successful. More successful than GVP. <laughs> I yeah. hope I can be a guest on it. I hope so too. I'll show up every day and I'll stay for six to seven hours and oh. I and I'm a, I will minute. love it. And you I'll won't, love it. You won't bring your computer, your cell no phone. No way. Wow, you'll be very present. Okay, next yes, email. Oh, who wrote that, by the way? So they can... uh, it says Jay. It says, uh, anyways, he goes on to say that uh, we would all be the judges, uh-huh. peppering both sides with questions and ultimately delivering their verdict. If gu- if guilty, I would naturally be a sentence with the appropriate punishment and anything from phoning his victims eh, to apologize. I don't like all that, but I, I love just the the more segment. Com- he, he his idea is called calling a segment bad Abed. Oh. Um, by the way, I don't, I don't I think it was before the podcast. Do you remember that day when I came over with my roommate and he who actually filmed this? A uh, guy named Jay. Thank you very much, Jay. It's a Sorry, wonderful go email. Ahead. Yeah, uh, and and Abed, it was the night. Oh, it was the day yes. after Abed had borrowed Ben, your roommate's coat, and went out out and partied. Can with we it, post smoked, that online? Yeah, Can we... and smoked. And I remember <laughs> he came back in, and we really did have like a trial in the kitchen. And yeah. like, and we gave Abed his punishment was he? he and we gave him three uh, three, three choices, options, and he had to pick choices. two out of the three. Yeah. So it was, it was either repay Ben for the jacket clean the jacket or apologize he didn't want to do any of them and yeah. we were like dude <laughs> yeah are it was you pretty amazing <laughs> tell it. dan to please post that on the facebook page um all you right guys were at a party i didn't get invited no, this, no, this was Justin's years house. ago oh, yeah. it was only about a year invited. ago oh a year ago i just okay. didn't get invited all right uh what else what else i'm getting maybe, sick of this yeah me too last email yeah. yeah okay and we've got plenty more for the future so if you haven't heard your email read Hey, we'll get to it sometime. We'll, we'll, you can write me. You I'm can go, write me. I'm going back to like March for some of these. Yeah, you know? hey, yeah. We're, We're going to dial it here. in. Hey, guys. Love the show. My name is Matt Sinclair. I'm a 25-year-old filmmaker and animator from Boston. Hopefully, Cute. I'm not your only unoffended gay listener here. Ha, ha, ha. Um... Oh, oh, he, oh! I didn't realize what Wait, this email was. He did, said, is he, did, "Are other gay listeners offended by us?" No. Well, oh. here's what I want to know. He he actually he go, he he goes on to write something that says in in parentheses in boldface, "Read aloud at own discretion." Okay. Uh, it's he's basically writing something, and he wanted to know if we could take a look at it. Justin, something he made. Wait, what a is pitch? This? A script oh. for a show. Uh. Because he goes I, I on, it's, it's discouraging how to be an animator in Boston, but your podcast never ceases to give me hope. Justin, that random fart wave in episode 14 was so random and hilarious, I almost literally wet myself. Ryan, don't give up hope on the ladies. I'm sure a smart one will give you the time of day soon enough. Keep mm. the good work, guys, and Jackie. Uh, and P.S., it would mean a lot to me if I could get a shout out from radio DJ Magooty Goops. <laughs> uh. Magooty Doops. Huh? Hey, Come how's on. it going? Uh, we'll play a song. W- w- Do it properly. Or... Do it properly. I don't have my. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, you know. Fuck. Got to give the listeners what they ask for. Wow. We. Holy shit. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Here we go. Um, Jesus. I need to get a new fucking setup here. And you got to come up with an imaginative scenario too. All right. 
Jackie, would you care to pick the scenario from Goody Goop's talk? All right. <laughs> hey, it's no. 74, 16. Something to do with Tron? Crazy radio. <laughs> Tron. We're hanging out here doing something. No, Tron, not Tron. Thor, uh, I mean. Thor. Shout out to Thor. whatever that one kid's name that just wrote in. What's his name? Uh, Sinclair. Matthew. Matthew. Hey. Matt Sinclair. Well, hey, good work. <laughs> this is Little Wayne's Little Lil' Light Pop. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's that was good. it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's the best. Sorry, Matt. It's the best. Sorry, it's the best. Best, best, best you can do. do on the spot. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Lollipop is the best thing. To do. <laughs> uh, so are we gonna read his thing and get him criticism? Uh, <laughs> no. Maybe another time. <laughs> what do you mean? Justin, when? don't be a brat. What, what, can you summarize what's the uh, blanket concept? Here, send, send it. Send us an email. We will. We'll. We'll take a look at it. Oh, wait. Oh, he didn't send it. No. He oh. wants to, though. Okay, well, it's the same thing I said help a long time ago. Help him, he's in Boston, he's young, and he needs help. And he's okay. gay. Okay, it's the same thing I said a long time ago, and I can't remember who else. They had, they had like, a, a themed album idea. Yeah. If you don't mind us reading it on the air, oh. you're not worried about people stealing the idea. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what. Send it to the thing, and I'll read it. All right. I get better notes than Justin does. Anyway. I agree, probably. That's yeah. You better just hope it's not something you're already developing or similar, because oh you're going to be looking at a lawsuit Dog later world. in life. Um, so uh, it's like... Um, uh, here's what I want to say. I want to do an episode coming up in the future. Speaking of gay listeners, oh yeah, we're gonna do the gay, the gay show. show. <gasps> yep, we have two gay men that we know. Yep, that do are they hilarious. Like Lady Gaga? They're really great. I'm, I'm sure, sure they do. Oh, I, I don't will know. die. I'm sure they like I love brunch, them. and I'm sure they like I mimosas. Love I love them. I love them. And I'm sure they sure. like anonymous sex in bathrooms. and bathrooms. I'm sure they like all. all are all. they oh my cute? God. Um, obviously, I'm being satirical. Matt yeah, Sinclair yeah, yeah. knows that. Um, the point is, is uh, they're awesome, and we thought about. Uh, totally marginalizing them to gay, to, to just being gay and 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 not a total complete human beings, <laughs> and asking them questions about that. From me and Justin's point of view, about help me here, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're just gonna dive into it. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things we want to know. Like yeah. one of my big ones is, can you can you stand in the mirror and naked and and look at your chiseled body and <laughs> and and get yourself off by looking one at the, yourself one of the questions i have is how can two gay men be friends without being attracted to each other which which is i guess goes along oh, with yeah, that's that you all can't... the same that's the same as it is for us oh okay well i want to know it's not the same there's because... no us jackie i don't oh, know okay who you're grouping yourself in with but well, there's a ton of questions and then also they're really funny people and we can yeah t- talk so, to them okay anyway just justin on the right hand jackie on the left hand oh, oh yeah Christ. she's doing okay. a finger into her is that it fist. are we done with emails really vigorously just just look her in the eyes oh, look her in the eyes. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no spray it spray it jackie spray justin all over your hand yeah pull. oh dude oh, gross ryan ryan you're God. taking, it, you're taking uh, it to the to to a heightened place see of how uncomfortableness. i just like can prove my point <laughs> i can just circle back around it and prove my point like every reason Time like why? I wonder why I wouldn't pick Ryan. <laughs> could you imagine, Justin? Could you imagine I'm having sex in, with Ryan? I'm clearly more in touch with my sexuality. I might pick Ryan <laughs> at this point. Why? So I might have to go with yeah. Ryan. <laughs> I don't smoke. That's why. Yeah. All right, that was episode 31. I want to thank. Uh, who's episode? episode I don't art? know. We don't know. Thank you, whoever. I have I have a backlog of unused art, so All I'll right. just pick one. So you'll be thanked by Smith. Thank you too, and then Smith will dub in the voice. Yeah. Thank you too. No, no, he'll just do it at the end. Like John he always. Wendelson. Whatever your name is. <laughs> um and, uh, you know, yeah. W- 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 here we are. <laughs> Any announcements? Oh. Please rate us on iTunes again. I'll say it like fucking hell, dude. Join our Facebook page. We're 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 we, we, we want to try to get to a thousand for our year anniversary. Yeah, which what are is we at? May fifth, seven hundred. Oh, that's not and bad. We've got we've got. Can we get three hundred more by May fifth? What what is May fifth our one year anniversary? Yeah. Are yeah. we doing something? Can you believe? It? I mean, I don't know. Will we have a show on May fifth? I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. Ryan started a job. We should have probably talked about that, right? No. I mean, that's a, no, it's official. He's going to be writing on. Whatever. In betweeners on, on MTV, so that's good news for him. And um, so my point it was sounds like my balls smacking against uh, Jackie's face, yeah, face. Jackie's chin. <laughs> um, my point Two is in, my point is <laughs> yeah. for Ryan that with your lips, Jackie, while you're doing that. I don't even know what my point is. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> we're, it's gonna be it's gonna be no, hard to it's gonna be hard to oh it's gonna be hard for us to do a weekly show. So what we're gonna do is. We're talking about ways to figure this out, but it's definitely going to be at least once every other week for sure. Um, but we might do weekly, but it'll we're going to do a little differently, maybe. I think we I should don't know. do bi-weekly. 
That's what it's probably going to be, but yeah. it might be weekly. Either way, well, whatever. Who gives a shit? All right, anyways, that's Hi. it. Rate us, what, Rate us on iTunes. What, Jackie? Say something. I was going to say something, but now I forgot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All we'll right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Hey now, that was episode 31. Vote for us on iTunes right about now. But don't be stupid about it. You just get on iTunes, then ask yourself, have I voted on iTunes yet? If the answer is no, then go and vote. And by vote, I mean rate us. Join us on Facebook by heading to www.pigsarepeople.com and follow us on Twitter at Grand's Virginity. You dumb, dumb, dummy. Ooh, what a fun time. Tell your local pals about the show. But don't be a dumb, bumpy bunny. See you guys next week. Hippity-hoppity-hop-hop-hippity-hippity-hop-hop-hoppity-hippity. Hop, 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 hippity. <laughs>